Hi guys, welcome to Backyard Bassin. Today we're going to go over a few little baits that uh, I learned to fish with. And I think you guys have started off with pretty easy. Um, kind of going to go over a little bit of the basics of starting fishing little ponds and small lakes and stuff like that. So the first one we've got here is actually going to be a Sticko or a Cinco. Um, there's a couple different names for it. Uh, just different brands. Uh, Gary Yamamoto, he's a, the one that invented it. I mean, it is a phenomenal bait. No matter where you go, it catches fish. Um, in my experience, as far as ponds go, you can't beat these things. I mean, they're they're pretty durable. They're easy to fish. Anybody can throw them out there. Uh, you can fish them weightless. You can fish them a wacky style. Um, I even know guys, a lot of times, they'll break off the last two or three inches of the tail and use it as a Ned rig and stuff like that. But my favorite all time is a straight weightless hook. Uh, as long as you've got the patience to throw it out there and let it sink for a good 10 seconds, 90% of your bites are going to be on that first fall. So you just have to have a little patience with it, but it's well worth the wait. I can guarantee you that. And I've caught some pretty big fish on these. The uh, second bait we're going to go into is actually a Zoom trick worm. I don't know how good you guys can see that there, but it's just a regular worm with a little bit of a tapered tail. Um, the head's just a little bit bigger than the rest of it. Um, this is kind of the same thing as a sticko. It just got a little bit different fall to it. A lot of times I'll fish these on a weightless hook um, unless I've got a little bit of grass or a little bit of brush or something like that, that I'm fishing around. Then I'll throw like maybe a a 1 16th ounce weight on it or even smaller than that just depending on how fast I want it to fall. Um, the tail's got a lot of action. The uh, like I said the tail has a lot of action um, and this is another bait. You let it fall. I mean give it time. Give it a good 10 seconds. Um, let it fall. That's usually when you're going to get your big bites and everything. Um, another thing I know with this one and with that Cinco worm, um, if you're throwing an open face, which is one of the easiest reels to learn how to fish with, you can actually get pretty good with these and skip these across the water and up underneath brush or uh, overhanging trees or uh, you know up against laydowns and stuff like that. You can skip it very, very, very easy. So it's a real good one to learn with. Um, my next one is actually a little bit of a creature bait. Um, you can see all this here. This is actually a baby brush hog. These are probably some of my favorite creature baits. Uh, time and time again, they have never failed me. I mean, they work all the time, just about anywhere I fish. Um, even in small creeks, you know, I catch a lot of smallmouth on these. Um, a lot of big tournaments and stuff like that that I fish, I throw the regular size brush hog on this and it, it produces every time. It's great. Uh, the only thing I will say with this one, it's a little bit bigger profile. You won't get as many bites as you do on the smaller worms and stuff. But they still produce and you still do get some big fish on these too. Alright, on to the next one. This has got to be one of everybody's favorites. The spinnerbait. You cannot go wrong with a spinnerbait. You can fish this year round with no problems at all. Um, if you fish it during the winter or you're still up north and you got a little bit colder weather, whatever, and the water's a little chillier, you can still throw a spinnerbait. They, what they call roll, slow rolling. Throw it out there and just do a nice steady wind. Um, every once in a while, just maybe just to change the cadence a little bit, just stop your reel. Start it up again. Just keep going with it. Um, you'll notice more towards the spring and towards the summer when you get them hotter months in there you know you you want to fish this more on like a cloudy day um, or overcast skies something like that that's when they produce the best or if high wind um, they do really well but anybody can throw this so you can go out any pond any little small lake any big lake whatever you want um, you can throw it around logs brush piles stuff like that as long as you're not trying to yank it and pop it through there it shouldn't get stuck too often. Um, my biggest thing with a spinnerbait is you get into spring and late fall and these things are magical for big bass. 
Um, I don't think I've ever I don't think I've ever been to a pond that's new that I've thrown this and not had some type of reaction out of this. Um, whether it be a couple small fish or one big one or whatever, I always get something on this. It's like I said, it is a go to bait for a lot of guys out there. So definitely give that one a try there, too. My last one is a little bit harder to learn, but it is an easy chuck and wine lure. This is a square bill. This is a 1.5. Um, this is actually made by a, uh, an H2O company that is affiliated with Academy Sports. Um, I have phenomenal luck with these things. They hold up well. I mean, I don't care what square bill you have out there. If you're smacking it against rocks and logs and stuff, your, your bill's going to break. That's no question about it. Um, I think these things run like maybe three or four bucks a piece. They're not real expensive, but these things get a lot of bites. Um, the thing, they run probably about, usually anywhere about two to four feet is normal range for them. Um, but you can fish these around logs, you can fish them around brush piles, stuff like that. They, they deflect off of everything pretty well. Um, a lot of times I tell people, you know, if you ever get to a point, you kind of feel it snag up a little bit, you can pick your line and just pop your line one time, and usually it'll back right off. Either that or just stop reeling, let it go, and this thing will just rise back up over the log or the brush pile, whatever you're caught on, and then you can reel it back in. These are probably one of my favorite baits in early spring and in fall, especially around brush piles. Um, for whatever reason, these things, they get bit a lot. So stay tuned. Here in another day or two, I'm going to drop another video. We'll actually take these lures out and we're going to do some fishing with them and see what we can get bit on. Have a good one, guys.